Gunnerman Group is a go. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. <sighs> Gotta get going. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business, and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good? That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. <laughs>Welcome to another show of Z360. I'm your host, David Stuntsup. Coming up on this edition, the story of a women's volleyball student athlete that's now on the team after serving as a team manager last season, and the men's soccer team celebrated its 60th anniversary this past weekend. We start off with women's volleyball. Aubrey Kozer served as the team manager last year. Now she's making an impact in a different way as a defensive specialist. One thing about Aubrey is she's got a work ethic that's second to none. Um, she can multitask like nobody I've ever experienced and she can bounce back from academics to athletics very, very quickly. And uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why she's been able to uh, secure a place with our program. Girl, last year you were a manager, now you're a player on the team. Well, what's the transition for it's, it's different because before I would be like taking stats and now I know exactly how I'm being evaluated from that respect. So there's a little pressure because I'm like, I know exactly what the coaches are going to look at later. So there's a different uh, standpoint from that respect. I can kind of think about the game in a different way and a little bit of a coaching aspect, like what, what would the coaches be looking for? And that can give me a leg up or it can also be a disadvantage because then I'm, I'm thinking about it all the time. But the transition's been good. Well, Aubrey was a great manager. Um, she brought so much energy. I think that was the biggest thing. She was super positive. Um, she came from a volleyball background. She played in high school and she knew a lot about it. So she could give us tips and just bring that positive vibe that I think our team needed. A lot of the times managers are kind of sometimes eyes and ears for coaching staff as we try to get the climate of the team from a personal standpoint. Sometimes they uh, let us know that uh, a, a teammate had a bad day, allows us to, uh, to con not necessarily just compensate, but also help us coach them better. Day-to-day -day responsibilities would be um, showing up to every practice and game. So during practice, I would set up the camera and I'd be keeping mostly defensive stats, sometimes attacking stats as well and then I'd be reporting those back to the coaches. I'm pretty driven and I set high goals for myself, so if I see a window of opportunity to get something else done, I'm probably gonna be the one in the locker room doing a math problem and then go right to the match. I think probably the, the biggest thing I'm impressed with is that she can maintain that same kind of personality as a manager as she was, a, now she's a player. Um, she, she keeps that just steady, calm vibe, um, super positive even in situations that are tough. Well, watching Callie Mack, I got a good idea of what it means to have like defensive tenacity, and I could see her numbers as a direct result of her efforts, so I'm definitely learning a lot from Cal. You know, I was just there for her if she ever had questions. Um, I tried to help her with her technique whenever she asked, keep her positive when she's feeling down about anything. Um, she's, she worked really hard in the summer, just training, like weightlifting, and then also just trying to touch as many balls as she could, so she came in with a good um, background and a baseline. And I mean, she just worked really hard in preseason and whenever she needed help, I was there to help her. Well, she's not the biggest player by all means and she's not the fastest, but her work ethic and her dedication to things that she wants is what really has propelled her. How do you think her story can motivate other players? Well, it's the perfect, uh, it's the perfect foundation for coaches as they tell stories uh, to upcoming and new players about people that have worn the jersey as well. And uh, to be able to have that as an experience uh, to share is going to be uh, one that's going to be able to continue on years after. Alums from the men's soccer program gathered this weekend to celebrate the team's 60th anniversary weekend. For some guys, it was their first time back, a chance to connect with former teammates, friends, and cheer on a team that's meant so much to many people. What's it been like to be back here with all of your uh, former teammates and other alums? Well, anytime you get to come back here, it's great. Um, the campus certainly has changed a little bit since our days here, um, and it's just impressive. It's impressive to see. Uh, and then to add the element of having all the guys back and getting reacquainted with old teammates and longtime friends is special. 
it's amazing how this uh, university has transformed itself. It's, it's, it was very small when I was here, um, and now is uh, it's huge. In fact, <laughs> now Dowdy recruited me out of high school, out of the just down the street, uh, Central Howard High School. Robert Dowdy, he's a good coach. Uh, he stayed two years. Um, learned a lot from him. Nice guy. He just. Uh, took another job and then Steve Parker moved in and he came in and uh, had a great relationship with him and uh, we had a lot of success here and building the program and uh, won a lot of games. You were a head coach in the 70s and part of the 80s. What does it mean to be back here with some of the best coaches and players to suit up for the Zips? Well, it's always a great pleasure to come back to Akron, obviously, and the facilities have changed a lot over the years. So that is probably the most startling thing. But, uh, you know, we had good players then, too. And so we've had a great tradition over the years. And obviously, I think we kind of came into national prominence during my tenure and kind of got some things started. And it's just good to see the tradition carried on. And obviously, uh, they have taken it to another level as well. Your former teammate Andy is here. You uh, played with him on defense. What's it been like to see him? Andy Lahneman, uh, great guy, great friend, first of all. Um, again, we had some great years. Uh, I think uh, he yelled at us as much as uh, we might have tried to yell at him, but uh, he's the, he was the goalkeeper, so he was uh, the captain on our field, making sure we were directed the right way. Always great to see him. I get, to, I get a chance to see him because he's also local. I get a chance to catch up with him every once in a while at these games um, during the year, but it's always great to catch up with Andy. What's it been like to be back here, not only with uh, former players from the program, but also with your kids and your wife? Uh, it brings back a lot of memories. I was fortunate enough to be part of the the first College Cup team here at Akron in 86 and you know that that was kind of the beginning of, of where the team is today and it's been fun to watch them through the years uh, last five years I had season tickets and come up with my family and and uh, watch them support the Zips and it's been pretty enjoyable. The program in the 56 it was just starting and uh, a lot of the players uh, had not played before, but other players were from uh, different parts of the world, like we had uh, Greek players, Italian players, and myself and my brother, German players, and so on. And, uh, and then later on, they received more, more and more American players, too. What's the first thing that comes to mind when someone says Akron soccer? Uh, class. It's always, uh, that was instilled by Stu Perry, the original founder of the program, that uh, we always wanted to have a program that we'd be proud of, and I think that has been handed down through the generations. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Z360. Tune in next week for more interesting stories around Akron Athletics. I'm David Suntup for GoZips.com.